Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of your favorite PE teachers from Aspen Dale Gardens Primary School. The one, the only, Mr. King. Hello students of AGPS. Welcome back to another game by Mr. King, myself, and Mr. Murphy. Today, we're going to play a brand new game called Rapid Fire Handball. Okay, so hopefully, today's game will get you nice and excited for our footy day this Friday. Okay, however, before we play this brand new game, we will need to go and find some equipment. The equipment we will need to go find very shortly to play this game includes... One chair, okay, so very sure you're going to need to go find one chair. You then need to go find one laundry basket. This could also be a box or a bucket, okay. You then need to go and find one ball, preferably a football. However, a ball of socks will also be okay for this activity, okay. You then need to go and find two markers. So for example, these could include some shoes, all right. You then need to find one timing device. So for example, this could be an iPad or a watch. All right. So that is all the equipment you need to find to play rapid fire handball. I'm now gonna give you a couple minutes to quickly go find that equipment during this time. I also have to go find all of this equipment. So guys, I'll be back soon. See you guys shortly. All right, everybody. Hopefully, you have been able to find all of that equipment. I'm now gonna show you how we need to set up rapid fire handball. Let's have a look. Everybody, let's now talk about how rapid fire handball works. First, the aim of the game for players is to try and handball their ball into the laundry basket from one of the two markers. To handball their ball, players will need to place their ball on top of their opposite hand. Then, with their good hand, they will create a fist with their thumb on the outside then all they simply need to do is bring their arm through, catch their fist, and hope the ball goes in to the laundry basket as I've just demonstrated there. For each round, players will have one minute to try and score as many points as they can. Players will use their time and vice, so either their iPad or a watch to keep track of that one minute. When handballing, if players can, handball their ball into the laundry basket from the first marker, they will receive one point. During the game, if players can, handball their ball into the laundry basket from the second marker, they will receive six points. However, if players handball their ball and miss the laundry basket, they will receive zero points. Players continue handballing their ball as many times as they can until the one minute is up. During this time, players can choose which of the two markers to handball from. Players will play four rounds or quarters. After players have completed their four rounds, they will need to add the scores from each round together. This will be their final score for rapid fire handball. All right, everybody. So that is how you play rapid fire handball. Now, give this game a go at home and see if you can be a member of your family to become the Rapid Fire 
handball champion or keep watching this video because I'm about to go get warmed up and ready to play rapid fire handball to give you guys at home a score to try and beat. And who knows, if you beat me, you then become the rapid fire handball champion. All right, guys, good luck and have fun. Please welcome to the field, representing the Collingwood Magpies, Mr. King. Round two. Okay. 